Hello everyone. My name is Ronak Alam. I am from Barakpur, West Bengal, and I have done my graduation, that is B.Sc. Honors Agriculture, from U.S. Bangalore, Jigavika campus. I have secured an All India rank of five in the Physical Science major subject group in the 2023 ICR AIEEA PG examination. I selected my major subject group during the second year of my B.Sc. Honors degree, and I have started. reading for the examination from the fifth semester that is the third year of my degree i would like to state the fact that you should choose your module or the subject purely based on interest without any kind of second thoughts because only the love for the subject can fuel you through this amount of preparation and these years of preparation for cracking the final examination without interest or love for the subject it will become very hard to achieve a good result in this so coming to the books i would like to state that the hearing the basic concepts is very important for getting a good grasp of the subject so i would like you to start your preparation with the basic books like textbook of soil science by td bishwas and sk mukherjee this book is like the building block and the foundation stone of your preparation that will help you in grasping the subject very well since this book is written in very lucid language it is very easy to understand and also love the subject in the same time as well once you complete this book or you have a very good grasp of all the chapters in this book then you can go for some more advanced studies through fundamentals of soil science by ieas or the indian society of soil science the 2012 edition this old edition book contains the chapters in a detailed manner which will help you in your preparation and most of the questions in your exam will come from this book only so it is absolutely necessary to study this book very well so that you can have a very good grasp of all the chapters where your concepts are clear and also you can attend the factual questions in the exam without any difficulties the ieas book as a whole is a complete book for preparation you have to study all the chapters of this book without leaving a single one but still for the pedology portion i would like to recommend a textbook of pedology by dr j l sehgal this book is extremely good for clearing the concepts of pedology which is somewhat a newer concept from this book i would like you to study the first seven chapters very thoroughly and the rest of the chapters are not needed in the examination point of view the first 7 chapters you have to read thoroughly understand the concepts and also you will get many questions in the exam from this book which are directly asked from the first 7 chapters of this book then coming to the soil physics portion again the ieas is like the bible for all the chapters from here only you have to study the soil physics portion where you will study the physical properties of soil 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 water soil air and all the other things but still i would like you to recommend the textbook of soil physics by ak shaha where even if you don't study the inside text it is very important to do the exercise of all the chapters from this book where you should thoroughly practice the mcqs the true false the match the columns and all the other questions that are available in the exercise in both 2022 and 2023 there were questions which were directly asked from this exercise not even a single word was changed and they exactly asked the same question as that was in the exercise of that book coming to the newer sub newer chapters of soil science which are not that much good in the old edition book of ieas like remote sensing and gis and the newer portions like soil fertility soil health card schemes and all other things i would like to recommend the 2015 edition of ieas where you will find these things in a very lucid manner and also you can study it and understand it very easily so from the 2015 edition of the indian society of soil science fundamentals of soil science book you should study the remote sensing part very well as per the trends you can see that every year the number of questions in remote sensing are constantly increasing and there are no good notes for that then finally i would like you to recommend the introductory soil science book by dk das where i think personally it is not necessary to study the whole book as you can go through some important chapters 
like radioactivity, soil chemistry and soil colloids. These are enough from this book. I think because since you have already completed IEEE's, I don't think you will have any problem for your further preparation in any chapters of the total subject of soil science. Then I would like you to study the most important book for your preparation which is nowadays absolutely necessary that is the soil science treatise by Dr. Itela Satyanarayan and the glimpses of soil science by Dr. Itela Satyanarayan. These two books are absolutely necessary and the soil science treatise is very 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 important which you ought to finish it two to three times before the examination at any cost. You have to study it, you have to revise it thoroughly and again and again because from this book almost you will get 60 to 70 percent questions directly in your examination. The core soil science portion is asked from this book. This book is nothing but a concise and shorter version of IEEE's book. So first you should study the IEEE's book, you should make your concepts clear and then you should complete the treatise book definitely two to three times for getting a good marks. Then coming to the MCQ books which I recommend that you start only after you finish the complete syllabus. I would like to recommend Soil Science at a Glance by Dr. G. R. Mahajan. This book is very good where you will find memory based questions from previous year papers and also very good quality questions with very minimum number of errors. So this book will definitely help you in your preparation. Now coming to the other minor subjects of the greater group Physical Science. I would like to say that all the subjects are equally important. The core soil science, of course, everyone will do, but the minor subjects only will decide your rank. For that reason, I would like you to study the 11th and 12th standard books of chemistry. Any publication is fine, but the NCRT books I would recommend. From there, you should study the chapters like atomic structure and almost all the portions of physical chemistry like solution, you can find questions directly asked from the solution chapter in 2022 JRF paper when they asked a question directly based on the formula from that chapter. So if you are thorough with these chapters, you can easily do the mathematics and the other questions related to it. Also, I would like you to study the analytical chemistry portion from any practical manual of class 11th and class 12th chemistry book where you can find all the methods and types of titrations and everything and all the chemicals that are used, the titrans, the indicators and everything. I think any practical manual of any publication will help you greatly in this matter. You should collaborate them with the syllabus of the physical science group and then you should study the 11th and 12th book thoroughly. Coming to the general agriculture part, that is not that much important for the physical science group Yet, you have to study it because you never know which year they are going to ask how many questions from that. So, personally, I feel the Nimrat Sunda book of general agriculture or a competitive book of agriculture that is very important and you have to finish it at least one time before you go for the exam. And now coming to one of the most important minor subjects of the physical science group, the agriculture chemicals. For that, there are no such good books that I personally know. So I would like you to read the TNAU notes that are available online, the eAgri notes or the AgriMoon notes. All these you can find readily in the internet and these are free to download. You can download the PDF and study them well. And also for the environmental science part, I would like you to study the NCRDs and gather some information from the internet and know the specific protocols and the environmental conferences which are very important. They might ask questions about the year and also in which country they took place. And now coming to another important minor subject that is agrometeorology. I would like you to study the Reddy and Reddy book of agronomy where I think the agrometeorology part is particularly detailed and they have a very good detailing of the chapter. If you can study that then you will have a very good and clear concept about the agrometeorology portion. I would like to focus on mostly on the atmosphere portion and also the machines and the instruments that are used in agrometeorological purposes. And finally, for organic farming, I would like you to study the class notes. Those are enough. If you don't have a good class note, then you should refer to any TNAO, Angrao or US Bangalore notes which are readily available in internet. So these are the books that are 
I think is necessary for your preparation and also there are some other books that you can follow. Finally, I would like to say that among all the books, the IEEE's book, the Indian Society of Soil Science, it is very, very important and you should definitely study it without leaving a single chapter. And after that, you should complete the treatise book at least two to three times before your final examination and that will really help you. And finally, I would like to add that only studying the core soil science will not fetch you the rank. You have to study the whole syllabus. For that, you should consult the full syllabus of physical science which is available in the ICR website. You should study that thoroughly and then only you should start your preparation because not a single question will come from outside the syllabus. Whatever is there in the syllabus, first you analyze that and then you should study. The question will be set from whole syllabus of physical science group and not only from soil science. So along with soil science, the minor subjects are equally important and you should definitely focus on them. And from last two years, the trend is showing that they are asking many questions from biomolecules chapter. For this also, I would like you to read the NCIT book of class 11th and 12th chemistry, where there are chapters like biomolecules, where protein, carbohydrate, fat, especially carbohydrate is very, very important. And at least you will get one or two questions in the examination surely from that. So the biomolecules part, you should particularly focus on more while you are studying the 11th and 12th chemistry book for your preparation. And now coming to the strategies of the exam, I would like to recommend that you should attend mock tests regularly after completing your syllabus for boosting your confidence and seeing where you stand among the competitors. Secondly, I would like to suggest that you should completely memorize or if not memorize, you should completely study thoroughly each and every questions from the previous four years, that is starting from 2020. The question papers of physical science module of 2020, 21, 22 and 23 are very, very, very important, which will show you the path, how to study and how to prepare for the examination that you are going to give in the subsequent days. So the previous year questions might not be exactly replicated on the examination, but they will show you the portion, the areas which are important and where you should focus while constructing your preparation for this examination. For deciding the rank, the minor subjects play a more important role than the major one because everyone will prepare the major subject but the minor subjects only will make the difference. And finally, I would like to say that you should be relaxed and calm and only the love for subject will be your fuel for the preparation. Then only you can get fun in preparation and studies and you can achieve a very good result. And coming to the strategy on the day of exam examination, I would like to say that you should at least have more than eight hours of sleep and also you should be very calm, cool and relaxed in the examination hall. And then you can definitely achieve a good result. Also, I would like to add that it is better that you attempt the test at least once in your third year, that is a trial attempt where you will get to know that where your preparation actually stands and how well you are performing in the examination environment amongst the immense pressure of other competitors sitting beside you. But don't let the results of this examination fool you into make, believing you that you are extremely ready or you are extremely unprepared, nothing like that. You should take it as a trial and you should use it for shaping up your preparation for the final day of your examination. I would like to end with this thing that if you work hard, study hard, be calm and cool and relaxed, definitely you can achieve a good result. Thank you.